And that whistle gets us underway here at ABD Stadium. It's a very chilly winter night, and we're hoping for a free-flowing attacking match. And now, driving the ball forward, here goes Hatsimaratis, trying to cut in onto his right foot, feeding the ball on Bosniak from the edge of the six-yard box. Save, Chris tried Oldfield. to flick past Oldfield on the tightest of angles, and Oldfield is able to turn it behind for the first corner of the night. Piemonte yeah. now ready to take the set piece, driving it to the top of the penalty area. Bosniak fresh air swing at the ball, but D'Angelo will make it work by running onto it, playing it out to the right. And now Lambropoulos, tricky. Trying to flick a ball back in. Hatsimaratis brings the ball down. Veers away from the target, squaring it back. Bosniak, and it's the opener for Oakley Cannons. And the crowd here at ABD Stadium is silenced by the travelling Oakley contingent. And in just the eighth minute, it's Oakley Cannons 1, Hume City 0. And Dushan Bosniak buries the chance. Higgity, now in a central position, loves a long shot. Hegarty cuts onto that preferred left foot, drives it at Honos. It's Carly, Harry. Carly follows yes, it up, and it's the equaliser for Hume City. They weren't behind for long. 17th minute, the goal, and Craig Carly follows in Nick Hegarty's shot. It's Hume City one, Oakley Cannons one, and Craig Carly held his nerve on the tight angle. Matt McMurray's got to do the stadium announcing, so I'll take it from here. It was a driving long shot from Hume City. And Nick Hegarty, well, it really was a long-distance special. On that occasion, he wasn't able to beat the keeper. So often you would expect he would be capable of doing so. But the way the parry fell was perfect for Craig Carley. Bridge, slailing through, flag stays down this time. Bosniak leaves it for Hatsimaratis, left side of the box. It's Hatsimaratis across the face. And now it will be chased down. Piermonte just outside the area. Attack still alive for Oakley. Squares it. D'Angelo, five metres from the box. He's going to try his luck with a long shot, and that one is sailing out. Trezczewski, it's an right. off goal! Well done, Christian. Aaron Wilford deflects it in, and Christian Trezczewski, his strike, he might get the credit, but I suspect that'll be an own goal for Aaron Wilford, has put Hume City into a 2-1 lead. He was just outside the area, central right position, decided to have a pop, and Aaron Wilford sliding in, deflected the goal, wrong footing, Honos, and John Honos struck back to his feet, very unhappy about the way things played out there. Doesn't matter whether he's left back or right. At the moment, he's cutting in, trying to find that preferred right foot. Top of the area, slides it through. Carly on side, tight angle, tried to cut it back. Walker with the follow-up, and now picks out the goalkeeper. Get in the box, Tommy! Get in there! Hume now on the attack, over on the right side. Hegarty step over, gets away from McCood, swings in a right foot, and ball! And it was a glancing-headed chance for Cahill, and he normally buries those but he just couldn't get contact. Halftime is almost upon us. We've ticked up to the 45-minute mark. It's Hume City 2. Oakley Cannons 1. Oakley trying to find an equaliser for the break. And this time, Hatsimaratis is on side. He's got the march on Tap Sancioglu, who's backtracking in earnest, and now able to get goal side. Hatsimaratis holds up the ball. Hume City defence back in position. Bosniak out to the left. Piemonte swinging a ball in. And it's oh, into the flags again. up yet again. No. And Hatsimaratis, rather than peel away in celebration, peels away in protest. The referee gets across to try and calm down the situation, blows the whistle after just 30 seconds of stoppage at the end of the first half, and Matt McNamara, Oakley will feel as though they have had the equaliser chalked off. Yes, yeah, certainly. It looked very, very close. A great ball in from Dean Piemonte. In it comes, Trajczewski, now sprightly again, having worked off whatever ailed him before. Hargreaves, ball to the top of the box, Trajczewski trying to curl in what would have been perhaps his second of the night, puts it over the bar. Piemonte, nice spin on the ball to get away Great from ball. Hargreaves. Playing through Hatsimaratis, the flag stays down. Hatsimaratis into the area. Oh, it's a fantastic tackle. And coming through, Shane Reshepi cleans up. Left Hatsimaratis on his haunches and took the ball away. A Hill stops to a walk, plays it back to Hegarty. Hopefully with defensive numbers in position, oh, but Hegarty nice. with a neat spin, gets into the area, crossing it through the six-yard box, oh. and that's the third! 
Craig Carley does it again. And it's Hume City 3, Oakley Cannons 1, and in the 75th minute, surely the points are safe. Wow, Craig Carley scoring, but Nick Hegarty deserves all the credit. He's beaten two players out wide, smacked the ball across the face of goal. Carley the back post, taps it home, and Hume City 3, Oakley Cannons 1. Clark to the top of the area. Carly on a hat trick, stops and props, and then <laughs> his left footed shot has no power behind it, and it's easily held by the goalkeeper. Flicks the ball on. Zorich, D'Angelo return pass. Goal difference could be important. Oakley still contending to try and peg back a consolation at the end of the night, but Bosniak's through ball is intercepted, and that is met with the full time whistle. Hume City 3, Oakley Cannons 1. They were behind after just eight minutes. But an emphatic response from the home side, led by a double from Craig Carley, and a very impressive performance from youngster Christian Tracheski, leads the home side to a 3-1 win. Matt McNamara, your thoughts, please, to wrap up the night here on FFV Radio. Yeah, like we said, Oakley took the lead early on, and I thought it could have been an upset on the cards. Um, but Hume, just too strong.